mind, rage, and violence, man, let me tell you, if you want any proof that real rock and roll is completely dead in the water, it's the fact that blind, rage, and violence are not huge stars and household names. When I first saw these guys, I couldn't even believe my eyes what I was seeing. They were playing lowest on the bill on some punk rock show with about 20 bands, except I could tell these guys were like older guys, you know? And they're playing this incredible Link Ray style music. We're in executioner's hoods. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I wind up talking to these guys after the show and um, you know, you remember the scene in Rock and Roll High School where they try to talk to the Ramones and they can barely even speak, like they can barely even get any words out of their mouth? That's kind of the way it was with these guys. I, I never heard the bass player, Chainlink, speak. Apparently he lives under a bridge in Silmar and whenever they go to do a gig, they just drive their 1973 Chevy van up there, pick him up under the bridge after the gig, take him there, drop him off. That's the best way to have a bass player if you ask me. Blind Rage, I started talking to him. Turns out he's from North Carolina, just like Link Ray, and he swears that he's the illegitimate son of Link Ray. He says that his mama and Link had some kind of thing going on. I don't know, but man, when you hear his music, there's no denying it. All right, so uh, we just brought in Blind. He's got his assistant uh, leading him in, and uh, I'm gonna ask him a few questions. Blind, the first question that I wanna ask you is, how do you describe the type of music that you play? Rock and roll ain't nothing but rock and roll. A couple of years ago, you guys released a CD. It's called The End of Rock and Roll. I actually put that one out, and it sold 167 copies. Uh, now that you have a 45 record coming out on Pig Baby Records, they're a real record label. They take out ads. I mean, this could be a big break for you guys. What do you think is going to happen with this new release? I don't care. I make the music. It's up to the record man to sell it. I met the label owner, Boss Hogg. He seemed fair. He put a fifty dollar bill in my hand. I asked my girl later and she said it really was a fifty dollar bill. That don't happen often to a blind man. How long have you guys been playing music professionally? I've been playing music all my life. In the church, in the bars. But if they give me a dollar, I'll take it, I'll play music. Okay, Blind, I just have one more question for you. Uh, a lot of people want to know, how did you become blind? I don't like to talk about it, but i tell you what. When I was about two, my daddy was working in his shop. He dropped an anvil on my head. Couldn't see no more after that. Mama said I wasn't right after that either. No police. That's what I'm here to say. No police.